Welcome to our home. Merry Christmas. This um, is one of the first things you see. It's a nativity scene that I got this year for Christmas. My birthday is Christmas Eve, and so for Christmas and my birthday, I usually get Christmas goodies. And this one I was very lucky to get this year. If you'll come on in, we have how many Santas here on the stairs? We have 51 Santas from the floor to the top of the archway here. That's my elf, Beefy. He lifts the big stuff, <laughs> and he helps me tour the house. And we can come up to the top, and we go into the right. We have 48 Christmas trees. They go from 12 inches to 10 feet. You're looking at the biggest tree now, and that tree actually goes up in September, which is when we start. It has about 2,000 lights on it, which is not enough. You always need more. And beside him we have, um, if you want to go that way, a Coca-Cola Santa Claus that I was lucky enough to get this year from one of our guests that came and toured the house. He um, owns Bart's Bait and Tackle and he gave me that after he came for the tour. So that's really cool. Then over there I have a Scooby-Doo tree. Um, these trees are from the 60s. They are original. They're not reproductions. One of those I got on eBay. One we got, my mother got on, um, in a barn in West Virginia. And the other one she got at Jeff Dobson Vlogs since last year. So they're really good for your collectible ornaments. That way they don't get lost into a green tree. And they do turn. I have about six trees in the house that turn. sure how many angels we have but I know we have at least 150 cents. Now we'll go into the dining room and in here we started with um, our snow couple the parents well the first year that we toured the house and then every year that we tour the house we get them a new kid but they also have their little bear friends over to visit with them this evening. We have two trees in here they're both five rocks. One is green and one is silver. And then over there we have a new addition this year, the little lit snowman. We have stuff on the ceiling that's silver to match the table. Now we'll come into the kitchen. This tree used to be in my living room, and now I'm blessed enough to have it in the kitchen. I do have a lot of M&Ms and um, ice cream goodies on the garland. On the tree, we have fruit, M&Ms, cookie cutters, um, candy, and gingerbread. table and they have one baby. We have M&Ms up here. We have M&Ms up here. And we also have M&M lights around the top of the cabinets and more M&M goodies on top of the fridge.
tree and only filmed the tree. <laughs> is in the fridge. It's a gumdrop tree, which is a really fun thing to do with the kids. Now we'll go up the stairs and to the right is going to be a restroom, to the left is going to be an office. Each tree has at least one, each room, sorry, has at least one tree, and most rooms have two trees or more. And also, to notice that Santa's on the bottom of the floor, they're taking a bath. Next we have the office, and I'll let my elf tell you about that room. We call this a generation room, because there's so many things that be from maybe our generation. From the Christmas tree, we've got a few cassettes on there from her past, from some of her music, and a lot of the kids nowadays wouldn't know what a cassette is, they know CDs and DVDs, so. And of course, a few things about the license plates are like from our age group, and things from our generation, the smaller Beanie Babies, and just a lot of stuff from our music, cassettes mainly. And then over here on the credenza little table here, we have a Christmas tree, and then a singing, and then the one thing that we like about the room is our guitar, their guitar. It's been signed by Leonard Skinner Band, and this thing has been signed by them too and then you can see a lot of the pictures of them. That's kind of like our generation a lot. This is something we can kind of have a hip room. And we got the little Jack Frost plant I'm working on the computer. We'd say he was keeping up with Santa. First he's just about parked his truck. Next we have the guest room. We'll go in here. This room's not decorated a whole lot, but I'll just tell you a little bit about this tree. It's a really, really one of my prettiest trees. And basically, I had the silk flowers. Um, I recycle everything because people ask me, how do I do this? I recycle stuff. I get stuff from other people that they want to throw away. So that's my trash to treasure. And all the ornaments that I got for this tree, besides the silk roses, came from a dollar store. So you can take something really inexpensive and turn it into a beautiful tree. So that's something that, that people can learn from. Um, the lights were a little bit more because they were um, little specialty lights, the purple ones were. But everything else was very inexpensive and you just put it together the right way and it turns out beautiful. And we have Hi. Douglas. Robbed to Santa down there. Here we just have another Santa, another nativity, and a Christmas tree. And, and the fountain, the, the water fountain's not going down there. Santa's everywhere. These, these are some of my favorite because their faces are so sweet. Now we'll come into the beach themed room. And this room is a beach thing because we have Santa on the comforter at the beach. And he's laying on his hammock and he has tropical Christmas trees. So we also put tropical Christmas trees in this room. Just like his with the big bulbs. We have beach Santas over here. We 
we do have a beach ball down there on the floor that we found with a Santa face in it. Over here are the beach Santas. He has vacation too, and the beach is one of our favorite places to go, so that's why I'm collecting those. On this Christmas tree, um, we have mostly white and purples and a few green things to represent St. Patrick's Day and also to match the green and the comforter. Then we have sand dollars underneath the tree to go with the beach theme. We also have sand dollars that hang from the ceiling and we have fish that hang over the bed so it's kind of like a little fish bowl. We try to make it a total experience to get something from the ceiling for the adults to the floor for the children. Um, the bathroom is actually one of the kids' favorite places and you'd think it would be because of the snowman in the bathtub, but actually it's because they think that the fish tank has Nemo in it. So they come in, they see the bathtub, and they, they love that, that's all cool, and then they see the fish, and they think Nemo's in there, and they love the drink. This is also a beach thing with the little snowman soaking in the tub. Another crop, tropical Christmas tree. Over here, this tree is what I call my memory tree. And this tree has actual photographs of family members that have passed away. And what I do is I take old Christmas cards and cut out the pictures, and then I take the photographs and cut them out, and I put the pictures on the, the Christmas card. I also put little mementos of family members, like a charm bracelet that belonged to my grandmother on my dad's side, my great-grandmother's comb, my great-grandmother's snuff can, um, couple other things, my grandmother's house shoes down there, my husband's aunt's coffee cup, little goodies like that. The only good thing this year was we didn't add any family members. So we were lucky to not add anyone to this tree. But this tree does keep them with us in our Christmas season. How you get this tree to look like this, you take out every other row of branches, flatten the ones that you have so you get a shelf effect. This is an old um, oil lamp from the 70s that my mom picked up at an auction for me so I decorate it for Christmas because I think if anything's sitting still long enough it needs lights, bows, and ribbon anything Christmassy on it to decorate it Tell her about your trick chair oh. for her Christmas birthday I had two of these chairs that they were gold from the 70s, lovely fashion. And I love them because they're so comfy. So I, I wouldn't, belong to an aunt. Would, wouldn't part with these chairs for anything. They belong to uh, an aunt. So usually I have something to cover them, to throw, uh, throw over them. The day, uh, day before Christmas, um, which was my birthday, my mom calls, I need to speak to your husband. So she gets him on the phone. And he hang, I'm listening, and then he hangs up the phone. He says, your mom needs the gold chair at the shop. Right away, somebody wants to take a picture in the chair. And I'm thinking, no, she hates these chairs. Why does she want my chair? The other one is already at the shop, right? So anyway, they take my gold chair. I go upstairs to shower. 
um, Jim and John come back with the new chair, sneak it in here. Then they ask me to come down to look at something. I come down and I'm like, where's my chair? This is not my chair, but this is actually my other chair recovered. So this was one of my gifts for Christmas this year for my mom. And it's, it's really awesome, but it took me a while to, to sink in that this is my chair. So that was a really neat surprise. This is a snow lady tree. And I needed a third tree in here last year when I was first doing this room and had HGTV on and they were doing an idea of this tree. So I thought, well, let's see if I can pull it off. It took 20 minutes to do. Run through your house, grab a bunch of stuff, throw it on a tree. It looks like a lady. She works, the kids love her, and there you have it. This room has 22 trees in it. It has one tree that is live by the door as you leave. Um, this room takes a couple of days to do. It took, there were three of us working on it, myself, John, and Jim, and it took us a couple of days to do this room. We start with the trees, and then we start laying the, the things out on the floor and, and stacking everything everywhere. This is a snowman tree. Um, several of the trees do have themes. Some don't really have themes yet. They're just colors. But I do have the snowman tree. I have a Santa tree. This is, um, you might not want to back up here. This idea we actually got from a master of Christmas uh, illumination and uh, Cousin Eddie and Clark Griswold actually inspired us and we just come here and plug everything up and it works really fast and, and it kind of has a little vibration from the power surge, but that's okay. We just don't let people get too close to it. You better bundle up because it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's nothing like a sleigh ride for two in this month. Oh, thanks. He's going to be here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That is the live tree. there. That big fat one. The most fun part about this room is once you get everything put together and then you get to throw snow. That's the reward for all the hard work that you do. And to be give me presents. Mm -hmm. The red tree is um, a Santa themed tree. Then the gold tree has music notes and music instruments mostly on there. That's for my daughter. She's in the band. And then I just have the purple tree. It's just colors. Underneath um, the Santa tree, we do have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, um, Choo Choo Train, and the little people, all the people from the, the cartoon. Then, of course, we have our little picket fences around everything. It helps keep the kids out. Then we have, um, over here is really cool. This is my um, old fireplace, this vintage um, from way back. Um, my mom found this as an auction and it was in perfect condition in the box. Has the little light that works with it to make the little fire glow. And this was a real treasure find. So that way our little Santa can sit by the fire and warm its little toes. Beside the fire, I do have a dog themed tree because I really, really love dogs and I can't have one right now. So I have a dog themed tree. And there is one cat on there, black and white cat to represent my cat that I do have named Trouble. Then underneath the tree, I do have my little pocketbook dog. The tree that's beside the dog tree is um, all the ornaments on this tree, either I made or um, like my great aunt made these. These are uh, little Santa Clauses made out of toilet paper holders. And these little stockings my great grandmother made several years ago. So that's just a collection of things that uh, either, like I said, myself or my grandmother or my great aunt made. Um, there are a couple things my daughter made. This tree is really cool because these are actual um, hand painted fabric lanterns 
that were brought from the 60s to a gentleman that came to visit our house and tour with his mother, Jim and Eleanor D Davenport. They came last year. And then she found me at my workplace this summer and brought me these old lights. They're so fantastic. And she gave them to me because of the joy that she got from touring our house. She is going to be 89 years old on January 1st and is in fantastic shape. She came last night to visit. And she came and saw the tree that I did in honor of her and was very thrilled. So anything that I get, I try to make it special and incorporate it into my little winter wonderland here. Okay. Uh, and really, it was so here. Good. You're the inspiration behind that. Oh, it's so good. Yes, thank you, Betty. Huh?